in to another stitch tutorial. We are going to do today a border. Um, now this is my rather large blanket, much larger than you've seen in the past. It's huge blanket, needs a, needs a border on it. So I'm going to grab my custom hook that I love to bits and heck if you want your own custom hook that has your own um, adaptation, your own design on it, down in the description below is Jelena and her Etsy shop. Please go and take a look. Um, wonderfully priced and an absolute brilliant artist. But I'm going to grab some wool and I'm going to show you how to do this border. So, yeah, blanket all finished. And I am going to start in a corner. Now, weirdly, this is done backwards. Um, I cannot explain it. It's done backwards. It's just the way it is. It's, it's the way you need to do it to have the look. So add your colour and chain two. So one and two. And in the very next stitch, you want to go in. I'll bring this up a little bit, sorry. Bring through, bring up a loop. Go yarn over, back into the same, yarn over, pull up yarn over and one more time into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, bring up to all the same level, yarn over and pull through all and then chain one to close. Okay, now we're going to skip the next stitch and go into the very next after that. So, yarn over and in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and go into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up that loop, yarn over, oops, yarn over and go into the same stitch one last time, yarn over, pull up and make sure those loops are level, yarn over, pull through all and close with a chain. So you see you have the puffs going in that direction. So yarn over, we're skipping the very next stitch and we're going into the next, we're going into this one. So we're going with our yarn over, we're going in, yarn over and pull up that loop, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up and for the third and last time, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through and close off by chaining one. Okay, now it is a little bit awkward going backwards but you will get the hang of it, you will. So I'm not going to do all the way across this but I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll give you the idea at least. So skip one let me go back. Where you've just gone in, you skip the very next and you go into the following. You yarn over, you put in, you bring up a loop, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop and the last time yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop. 
over, through all loops on your hook and close off by chaining one. Now you can make these a little bit puffier if you want to. If I show you a couple with four, just to show you the difference. So I've yarned over, I'm skipping the next stitch and going into the following. Bring up a loop. Oops, I don't want to bring up that loop. Oh no, I messed it up. Ignore it, it's a human error. <laughs> Yarn over into the same stitch. Bring up another loop. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, bring up another loop. Now I don't know how many I've done. One, two, three. And yarn over and pull through all. Okay, so that's them. One, two, three, four, five. And now I will do the one extra. So skip, go into the next. You yarn over first, in you go yarn over pull up a loop one yarn over going to the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop two yarn over go in yarn over pull up a loop three yarn over go into the same yarn over pull up a loop for four Yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook and close off. Bear with me a second. So that makes it that little bit denser. I'll do another couple. Yarn over. Skip the very first one, go into the second. Yarn over, pull up, yarn over, in, yarn over, pull up, yarn over and in, yarn over, pull up, and one more, and close off. Now, you can't, okay, ignore the human error, please. Um, you can't see that much difference between the three loops and the four but these are denser a little bit thicker a little bit harder than these now what i'll also show you is i can't show you going around a corner now i was going to ah if you're going to go around a corner, so if I just whiz through, I will speed this next bit up and I will go all the way along and I'll show you how to do the corner when we get to it. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I have cheated, I'll be honest. So along here to there, I have done three draw ups, three loops. Here I've done four, and on the speed along, 
human error again it happens um i have done just two loops so they're far far smaller but going into that corner you yarn over and you go into the very next so you don't skip the next stitch like you would ordinarily you go into the very next stitch you yarn over pull up your loops and when you're finished of course you close off and you end up going round your corner like so so ignore the human errors we'll pretend they're not there because I'm not human apparently <laughs> but you just keep going and you do get into a rhythm of it of course you do need to have um, a baseline of a single crochet um, all the way around because if you get to something that looks a little bit like that you're gonna be a bit stuck so you definitely need something to go into but this is a great alternative um, to a, a standard border it gives it a lovely edge back and front without the human error when you do it right yes it's a yarn eater but it is so so worth it and of course if you're doing much much thicker um, wool then you don't need to do quite so many loops to get the same effect and it just gives a wonderful edging to hide um, any unfortunate happens is <laughs> anyway that is today's stitch it is the puff border let's hide that tail out the way there we go there we have our finished our finished <laughs> blanket hopefully it's been of use to you if it has please give a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing down below. New tutorial every Tuesday with all fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.